Hi guys, happy uh, May Day Monday. I haven't done a video in a little while. Um, kind of took a break for the holiday season and um, have a lot of news for you guys. So yeah, this will just kind of be about what's been going on and um, kind of catch you guys up on my life as much as I can talk about it and want to talk about it. Um, as long as you guys, as, as far as you guys know, um, I have experienced a recurrence. So um, with ovarian cancer, this happens quite often. It has a very high recurrence rate because it's very hard to get rid of ovarian cancer um, completely. I knew this, uh, but I guess I didn't think it would be so quick. I think it happens a lot quicker for some people too. Um, so it's unfortunate, but it is just a part of this disease. and. I think that being, you know, the public figure that I am, it's, um, it's definitely not a good thing that I went through it, but it is another way to show people how to get through this disease. And I hope that I'm helping people out there that are going through something similar, um, be it ovarian cancer or, or anything else. So, um, I'm going to try my best to be very public about this, um, I think, as most of you guys know, I'm not showboaty about it. Uh, you know, I'm I'm dealing with it as it comes. It's something that is hard to talk about it some days, and some days I'm going to be a lot better at it. So, uh, thank you so much for all the support, you guys. I know you guys would be there, and it's so amazing to have you still to this day. So, um, thank you for all the messages from people that I've been receiving all over the world. Um, I opened up a mailbox. You guys can see that in my about area of my Facebook page. Um, so you can send me letters and, uh, yeah, send me whatever you like. Um, I don't really know. I've had a very long day. I'm actually in Toronto today. I am here for a really awesome event tomorrow. I have been asked to be the host of an event put on by Nixware. And it is going to be at Spoke House, which is a spin studio here in Toronto. Uh, I hope some of you guys are coming out for it. I know I recognize some of the names there that have signed up and messaged me and said, Hey, I'm excited to see you tomorrow. So I'm really excited to kind of share a body positive um, story and my experience with loving yourself through horrible times, through the good and the bad, and um, just kind of going on this roller coaster we call life. And so I will be sharing my story and um, hopefully inspiring all the women that turn out to this class tomorrow. I think there's going to be four classes, doing a few interviews, and then I'm on my way to um, New York for a bit. Um, yeah, so the event tomorrow, they're actually going to be donating um, bras from Nick's Wear and uh, they're going towards CAMH, which is a... Center for Addictions and Mental Health here in Toronto. It's a huge center, and uh, they're going to be giving it to the people that need it the most. So it's going to be a really nice little tool to help people out who are in a you know a difficult situation. So I'm so happy to support that, and happy to support companies that are doing such amazing things and giving to charity and all the rest. Um, yeah, and then I'm on my way to New York and uh, going to be kind of figuring my life out a little bit and seeing some friends and um, getting my stuff rounded up to come back to uh, Canada because I get all my treatment up here. Yay for healthcare. Um, man, I couldn't imagine not having healthcare. What a horrible thing to have to think of, think about. Um, the money that you guys are gifting to me, which was set up through uh, some of my friends back home in Saskatchewan, uh, it's going to help me just kind of rearrange my life here for the next couple of months. Unfortunately, I have to come back and stay. I don't know exactly for how long, but um, I'm giving it a couple of months to recover and to get into a good pattern. And, um, you know, whatever is left over, say, you know, a lot, a really a lot is uh, donated, I'll be giving it away to um, or using it for my gift baskets, uh, which is love and light if you guys want to know a little bit more about it. I don't know why I'm nervous. It's like I'm talking about something that, you know, I thought I didn't have to really relive and now I'm reliving it. So, um, yeah, I'm a little bit nervous about what has to go on in the future, but I think that, uh, 
if I keep the mentality I had before, I'll, I'll get through it just fine. And, um, it's really awesome to talk to you guys and have the support of all the people that I've met thus far in, in experiencing ovarian cancer. So yeah, just, uh, more fuel to the fire and, um, I'm happy I have you guys. Um, I have a little bit of a headache, so you'll have to excuse me. I flew here this morning, um, and just chowed down and yeah. Um, I've been trying to keep up with all the, the messages and, and, uh, questions that I've been getting from everyone, but, uh, I'm doing my best. So hopefully you guys get them back. If not, just know that I'm, you know, I'm trying my best to, to respond to everyone. Um, I'll go through a few guys' questions or if you guys got a few things you're trying to say to me try to answer some things. Oh, that's nice. Someone's sending me their phone number. Well, I'd be careful about that one. <laughs> um, so right now I'm actually waiting for an MRI. Unfortunately, BC Cancer's MRI machine is not working. So I have uh, had my requisition sent out to all the other ones and um, even contemplated paying for the private one, um, which also takes a little bit of time, but um, that might be the case. And, uh, yeah, we'll see. Um, much love from NYPD. Oh, that's nice. I'll be back causing havoc on the streets soon, Justin. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. You're just saying awesome posts and uh, nice comments to me. I really appreciate it. I could be a spokesperson, spokesperson for NOCC here in, in the States. I would love to. Um, I work a lot with Ovarian Cancer Canada. Like I mentioned to you guys, I've got a really cool thing that I can't really announce just yet, but um, once this is all over, hopefully come September, I can uh, let you all know what my little plan is, um, but it's going to be great, so stay tuned. If you aren't getting my updates on my pages, just uh, <clears throat> like like the photos, and then I will get into your news feed a little bit more. Laura, you're celebrating 15 years of being cancer-free. Congratulations. I'm happy to hear it. Um, I feel like in a way that this was uh, trying to direct me down the path that I should be on a little bit more. You know, I, I've tried to do a lot of different charity things. It's just hard when you try to do like a daytime job as well as model, you know, as modeling and everything. So... Um, maybe this is just directing me a little bit more to, to, to what I need to be focusing on. Hmm. Uh, yes, I did chat. I chose to go, uh, vegetarian. Uh, I've been thinking about that for a little while. I think it's probably good for my health. Definitely good for my health. I'm trying to eat sort of like an al alkaline type diet, which means uh, mostly vegetables and keeping my body green and fueled. And uh, I just want to be as healthy as possible because that's the best way to be. I'm um, only going to be in New York for a couple days. Anna, just text me. <laughs> See, I have friends, right? <laughs> Both of them have commented. Hi, Rianne. Um... Yeah. Thanks, you guys. You're all commenting so much. Sweet. I'll go through it all. Uh, if you have any suggestions for vegetarian s sites, blogs, whatever people I should follow that know what they're doing, because I just know, like, no meat for me. That's pretty much it. So I don't know if I'll get bored right away, but I'm going to try my best. I've got a lot of resources. I've got a lot of people that can help me. Um, shout out to my little brother. He is turning... 25 today. And Sonia, happy birthday, babe. Um, yeah, that's really it. My friend Karen is coming over in a couple minutes. And I have to get ready for a very long day tomorrow. <clears throat> but it's going to be a really fun day. See, that's kind of like spokesperson stuff is so up my alley. Um, yeah, and I've got a few more interviews planned this week because people want to talk to me. And I'm going to be open about this because this, uh, it helps everyone. It helps you guys, hopefully, and it does. It, it really does help me to know that you guys are there and to be able to talk about this. And I'm going to try to do even better um, about being public about this stuff because, well, 
because it needs to be talked about. <clears throat> yes. Anywho, um, I hope you guys have a good night. Have a wonderful week. Uh, tune in tomorrow. I'll probably do a live video tomorrow as well because we'll be um, spinning in our skin with Nick Swear and Spokehouse, and it's going to be fun. Um, yeah, I'm excited. If you haven't heard of Nick Swear, you should really try them out. I was actually talking to my friend yesterday. She's like, I bought the best bra. This is not even... I mean, Kat, if you're watching, you should you should post and be like, yeah, she's not bullshitting. Uh, she's like, I bought the best bra in the world, and it is from Nixwear. I was like, who? She's like, Nixwear. I was like, that's who I'm doing the event with uh, this week. So she's she fully supports it, and she didn't even know that they were, you know, having me come down to do this event. So there you have it, folks. Um... Yeah, I personally haven't tried out their brand just yet, but I'm going to try it out tomorrow and obviously, you know, give a good review. Um, anyways, I just got a text from my friend, my my blonde beauty, Toronto. Killer curves. Um, I'm just, now I'm just blabbering on. Anywho, guys, thanks a lot for checking in on me. Thanks for all the messages. Um, again... You guys can't ask me when my MRI is because I really don't know what it is, but I will keep you updated as much as I want to. Yeah. Have a good week, guys. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs>